hi guys welcome back to my channel like i said in my last couple of videos i need to find a name for my peoples because i don't like calling y'all y'all so welcome back to my channel i am c2 random if you do not know i make videos about love advice astrology and all that real stuff and today i am going to be talking about how you can date a capricorn how you can deal with a capricorn when you're in love when you're romantically involved and i'm going to help you with all of those things in this video so if you are interested then please stay tuned capricorns are very practical people they are not going to be playing around with love they are very cautious when it comes to who they're going to be bringing into their life so it might take them a while to fester up to marriage or anything that's really just deep and secure because they're trying to make sure you got your shit together they are not going to get in a relationship or a marriage or any kind of ship with you if you got all your stuff just disorganized and you are not together they might help you they might stay with you until you get that stuff together but you know nine times out of ten they're going to be down for somebody that's financially secure mentally secure maybe if you even in the church real good and you have a really good strong structural religious foundation they're down for that the stuff like all in chaos they're not going to be with that um she takes the time to get to know who she's going to be with he is going to take the time to figure out who he's dealing with to have a really good structure a good stable relationship in any type of relationship whether it's a friendship whether it's a marriage or you just you know a long-term long life partner you need to get to know who you're dealing with you need to learn these people and figure out if this is somebody that you want to be with because you know life is rough things get really bad and if you don't have nobody in your life that know what they're gonna do and have a type of structure and they don't know which way they want to go both of y'all are going to be lost you know you are who you hang around with this person could be a big influence to you so capricorns are very cautious people um they don't play around with stuff like that um they need to be secure they need to feel safe they need to feel very comfortable in knowing that who they're with is going to be for the long term capricorns need people who are going to understand them who are going to love them the right way they need someone who gets their cautious let's get it done type of mentality if you like to play games if you like to you know you're lazy you don't want to get stuff done they're gonna have a problem with that they're gonna tell you about yourself i know a lot of capricorn women have this um they're very classy and elegant and feminine on the outside, but yet they have this strength about them that's like, don't mess with me. You know, I'm beautiful, I'm pretty, but don't mess with me. You know, so if you're dating a Capricorn woman, you need to be somebody that can step up to that plate and realize that just because I have eyelashes on don't mean that you can talk to me any kind of way. However, Capricorns, when they are in love, it is taking a long time and they're not really lucky at it because, you know, like they're, like I said, they're so cautious. So sometimes it could be that they're, they're demanding a lot. They want a lot. They have high, 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 high standards for who they're going to be with. A lot of Capricorn women tend to date men who are a lot younger than they are. And that can also be a a barrier to them settling down and becoming just this one union because they're trying to make sure that this guy is for me you know and i'm speaking on this on on capricorn women mostly because i know a lot of women a lot more women watch my channel than men and because i have been around a lot of capricorn women and i just know that they're i know their nature i just you know i have a cousin that you know um is a capricorn and she is 39 she just turned 39 and she has a four-year-old like it, she wanted to make sure that things was right when she started having kids so that's that type of attitude that they have capricorns are very they they come off as very unemotional so and it's not that they are because you know um, they have emotions but 
they are trying to figure you out. They're trying to figure out and calculate if you're somebody that they want to be emotional with. You know, if you're somebody that they can trust to share their emotions with. Capricorns are very intellectual. They're drawn to people who are intellectual. They're drawn to people who have, you know, something to say. They like people who are very good conversationalists. They like to be serious in their subjects of what they're gonna be talking about. They're not very down for all the giggling and the kiki king and the, the comedy and all of that kind of stuff. You know, they might appreciate that, but for the most part, they, they like to talk about stuff that's the real deal. They do not like unconventional things or they're not, think outside the box type people, like they're earth signs, so they're very practical and rational in their thinking. Um, which is kind of like my thing, because I'm an Aquarius, and you know, Aquarians are very, very, very unconventional. We're like the, the, the mascot for think outside of the box. So, you know, and I have a lot of Capricorn in my chart. So sometimes I do battle myself. I do, you know, fight my mind because my unconscious and my my conscious and my subconscious are constantly like battling each other but um if you are a capricorn and you do have a you know a sort of mental battle with trying to figure out how to make your life a little bit more interesting and not think so practical then that's something that you need to work with that's something that you can do to work with but you don't want to make it seem like you do not want to feel bad about that you just have to figure out a way to channel that and to deal with that and if you're dating a capricorn or you're married to a capricorn and you just do not understand how you can get them to be a little bit more spontaneous or you know get them to think a little bit more unconventionally because unconventional is just fun you know, like hands down being real when you're too stuck in a corner and you're too squared in, it just makes life a little bit more boring. But you kind of have to figure out ways that are not, I, I say this, be stimulating. If you can turn your fun and you can turn your incitement into something that's stimulating, that is something that Capricorns are down for. Now, I'm not trying to say that all Capricorns are just like, stick in the muds and you know they're all squares because there are a lot of Capricorns that love to have a good time and love to live life and you know of course but at the same time for the most part it can be a little tricky to take them out on a date or get them to find things a little bit more interesting entertaining when they have that Capricorn or about them so that's just something to you know look out for so, and Capricorns are about their money, honey. They're about their bread, they're about their finances. <laughs> so if you a broke buster or um, a lost Luther, they ain't in there. They, they, they're not going to pursue somebody that do not have their ducks in a row. And if you don't have your ducks in a row and they're just willing, they're just so ever so willing to deal with you, they're gonna encourage you to get a job. They're gonna encourage you to get some stuff done. They do not deal with people that are not about their money. They are kind of materialistic in a sense. I think Capricorns are probably one of the most, along with Taurus, materialistic signs of the Zodiac. But, um, you know, use that to your advantage. It doesn't have to be, you know, gaudy. So I am done, you guys. If these just don't resonate with you and you just feel like I don't know what I'm talking about and everything that I didn't say it is just a black ball face lie, then please do your own research. And also I will definitely leave a link below, down below to where you guys can look up your natal chart. Your natal chart is basically more than just your sun sign. You know, you're not just a Leo. You're not just a Taurus. You are so much more than that. And that all has a, a role that plays into your, your characteristic, your personality, what you like, what you don't like, how much money you're making, you know, those type of things. And I think that that's very important for you to understand when you are dating someone, you know, because sometimes you're just totally incompatible. Other times it's, it may be the way you were raised or your way of thinking or their way of thinking. So, you know, this channel is not just 
about, you know, these videos are not just about, oh, you wanna date a, you wanna date a Capricorn, you wanna date a Taurus, like, it's so much more than that. I am down for helping people figure out who they are because when I figured out who I was, when I looked up my natal chart and I started studying myself and studying myself based on, you know, where I was born and what time I was born, the time of day, all of those things play a big major factor in who you are as a person. I started to learn myself. I started to realize, okay, so I'm a little bit more introverted on the introverted side. So I need to, you know, work on that. And there are things that I can figure out to make my life be the best life. So at the end of the day, at the end of the day, that is really what this channel is all about. Trying to help you and help discover and help figure out what's going on with you and why you do the things that you do. So I do strongly advise that you do that. Also, sometimes there are, you know, things in life that we are only supposed to learn from. So sometimes that relationship might not just, it might not work out because it's just designed to be a lesson and not something long term. So yes, take that into consideration as well. Also, please be sure to thumbs up this video because it just shows YouTube that you like this kind of content and it knows what's up. So yeah. I am done you guys I hope you enjoyed this video please be sure to like I said thumbs up and subscribe and I will see you guys on the next video and until then peace